you're going to hear a mano y mano conversation okay. because that's my realm. All right. Let's do this in my realm. Okay, I'm doing it, man. But I want to explain your view and what I said because it's still there. I said that your view is that you don't believe Jesus was created from nothing. And you don't believe the Holy Spirit was created from nothing. But that Jesus and the Spirit proceeded out of God. Remember? Okay. I go, that view is akin to what Justin Martyr and Tertullian would say. So because of that, I cannot say it's heretical. I don't agree with your formulation, but I cannot say it's heretical. I've said that. I stand by it. The only problem you have is that unlike Justin Martyr and Tertullian, who identify Jesus as the Jehovah of the Old Testament, you're not willing to call Jesus Jehovah. I'm willing to say Jesus can bear the name of Jehovah just in in the rep. I explained this to you when we had our conversation. Yeah, but and I brought up the I brought up the Elijah argument, and I saw it was the first time you heard that argument. What Elijah? John say it again. The argument that John the Baptist is coming in the fullness yeah. of the spirit of Elijah so he can bear that Not name. the fullness of the spirit of Elijah, right? You said the spirit and power of Elijah? Is that what you meant? We're the, splitting hairs now. No, no, yeah. I'm because not, what does that mean? Okay, no, it's not I didn't hear it. I addressed it. I said that John the Baptist and Elijah are of the same nature, empowered by the same spirit, performing similar function. In what way is Jesus Jehovah if he's not Jehovah ontologically? Because he comes in his father's name and his father's name is in him and the glory of Jehovah shines through his face and he comes and he's been generated from the substance of Jehovah. So then he has the substance of Jehovah then, right? I never denied that. Okay, so it, is there anyone other than Jesus and the spirit that have the substance of Jehovah? In its fullness? In its... In its uh fullness of deity no okay now when eve came from the substance of adam did that make her human make her adam yes so then why is she adam because she simply represents adam or she is the same substance of adam because she was derived from the rib of adam well side or rib okay we won't split hairs there but still that means because she's of the sus substance of adam right yep then that means it's not simply jesus is joe because he bears his father's name and speaks in his father's name but because he's of the, of the substance of the father as is the holy spirit just like Eve, she's Adam because she's of the substance of Adam. And because of that, she is a Adam anthologically, not simply representationally. You say that's why he is Jehovah? Jesus Jehovah is Jehovah because he has the nature of Jehovah. Wait, 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 wait. Hebrews 1.3. Wait, wait, wait. Jehovah is a proper name. Human is not. No, so Adam not is a proper name. Apple, apple. Now, let me correct that again. Adam is a proper name because in the New Testament, Adam refers to the first male who's contrasted to Christ. It is a proper name, and it's a generic noun. And Jehovah is not just the proper name of the Father. It's the name of the Son, per Hebrews 1, 10 to 12. So you're mistaken again. Right, no, no, but I'm not arguing. I, I said it about human, not about Adam. No, I said Adam. So why'd you change my word? I said Adam. Okay, let's say you said Adam. I'll agree with you there. She can carry the name Adam. Is she but, called Adam? She could be called Adam. And I, what and is I she called Jesus, Adam? She is. Okay, Genesis 5, 2. And so again, why yeah. is Eve called Adam? Right. But Sam, you're not letting me explain. Okay, I'm not denying that Jesus can be called Jehovah. That's not what I said either. I said, why is Eve called Adam? That because she has the nature Sam. of Adam. So why is Jesus called Jehovah? You said because he comes in his father's name. His father's name is in him and he represents him. I go, no, it has to be more than that. Well, no, I also said because he was generated from him. So you believe he is Jehovah ontologically, right? No, I believe he can bear the name of Jehovah. Because so we're he back to square one. Okay, but if he's the, the substance of the father, that means he has the substance of the father and if he has the substance of the father he's not sub simply jehovah representationally but he is jehovah ontologically i believe he's the son of jehovah jehovah and he could bear that name because Why? he's ontologically okay like you because he's ontologically connected you know that okay so then he is jehovah in nature no, he can be called jehovah because Do you of understand his when nature. you say ontologically you're speaking of the nature of a thing right Yes. So you just said, and everyone heard it's recorded, my, my, that he my, is my, Jehovah you're ontologically. Arguing you're arguing a different point. No, that I'm arguing the point made. that Jesus is Jehovah because he is Jehovah ontologically by nature, not simply representationally. Jesus can be called Jehovah Why? because he's the son of Jehovah ontologically. Okay, so then if he's the son of Jehovah ontologically, that means he bears the nature of his father. What nature would that be? I mean, you keep you keep trying to make a point that I'm not refuting. So then you then say it so people can hear it because you haven't said it yet. Jesus is Jehovah ontologically. Jesus can be called. Jehovah. So you notice you didn't say it again. See now this is the fourth time and people are hearing no, no, you. I didn't say call. Jesus is Jehovah ontologically, just like Eve can be called Adam because she is Adam ontologically. So can you say for people to hear you, Jesus is Jehovah ontologically. 
Don't cut me off. You but just say said it. Eve be called Adam. Because, because she's because Adam she ontologically. Right. And I'm saying Jesus can be called, parentheses, bear the name Jehovah. Why? Because he's derived from Jehovah. No, say ontologically. it simple. Say it simply. Jesus is I Jehovah ontologically. You know I don't want to say it simply, okay, nor so do what? I have to to be within orthodoxy. Yes, you do, because you Jesus is called Jehovah, not simply because he represents the Father. He is Jehovah by nature and does what Jehovah does. Hebrews 1, 10 to 12. Explain That's that for your me. Position, Sam. Well, explain Hebrews 1, 10 to 12 for me. Hebrews 1, 10 to 12 proves that when God looks at him, he identifies him by his name because he's his son. Where does it say that in Hebrews 1, 10 to 12? It's quoting it the text about Jehovah. To. Psalm 1, 2 is speaking of Jehovah, right? Psalm 1, 2 in its context. Right. And Absolutely. is that Jehovah the Father, who's Jehovah by nature ontologically, or is that Jehovah the Son in Psalm 102? Well, According to you, it's all three, right? No. According to me, as far as, far as Hebrews is concerned, it's specifically the Son being addressed by the Father, because I don't believe Hebrews is misquoting Psalm 102. I understand how you want to pin that on yeah. the Son, and I believe it is referring to the How am I pinning son? it to the Son when Hebrews ascribes it to the Son and says the Father is glorifying the Son? He Hebrews ascribes it to the Son. I'm in total agreement. But not because the Father is calling him the Most High. Yes, Because he is. when the Father sees him, if you've seen him, you've seen the Father. Now so notice what you father, did. Uh, wait, 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 well, no, no, no. You wait, shift. Wait. You shift the argument from Most High. Don't change the argument. Stick with Hebrews one ten to twelve. The Father is glorifying the Son for doing what? I didn't say the word Most High. Yes, you did. did it's I? recorded. You just said he's not the Most High. You just said it. Well, I'm. I'm. No, I. Yes, you did. Look. When, when the Father looks at Jesus, yes. does when he looks at him, does he see the Father? The Father sees Jesus. He sees the Son, not the Father. When the Father looks, the Bible says, if you've seen him, you've seen the Father. That's when John Father 14, but that's talking about Jesus in the incarnation. We're talking about Hebrews 1, talking about Jesus when he created. Don't confuse the two categories. No, no, no it's both. And, and no, it's, not in Hebrews okay. 1, 10 to 12, no. No, this is why it's both, because he's carrying his nature. Not that's in Hebrews 1, 10 to 12. Do exegesis, not eisegesis. In Hebrews All 1, right. 10 to 12. All right, then, then answer me this. Hmm? Why did he tell him? That if he saw him, he, he also sees the Father. Was it because he has the same nature? It's because he is the visible image of the invisible God in the incarnation. That's John 14 when Jesus is in flesh. Hebrews 1, 10 to 12 is Jesus when he created the heavens and the earth before he became flesh. You're confusing the categories. I'm not going to let you do that. As it is on earth, so it is in heaven. No, that's taking that's it out of context and misapplying it like you do with every passage of Scripture. Can no, you do no, it in Hebrews no. 1, 10 to 12? I told you how I deal with it. Okay. When the Father sees so you, the Son, I said you, don't want, you don't want the answers. Then. No, I don't you like... I'm not going to accept an answer that butchers the scriptures and perverts the scriptures. I'm not going to let you do that. It's like letting a Muslim interpret the Bible the way he wants. Sorry, it ain't going to happen. Can John the Baptist be called Elijah? Yes or no? Of course he can be called Elijah. But is why is he, he called Elijah? Elijah? Is he Elijah, Sam? No, he's not. Why is he called Elijah? Because he's coming in the fullness of that spirit. How does coming in the fullness of that spirit sh show he's Elijah? So he's saying that the human spirit of Elijah was reincarnated? He's bearing the spirit of Elijah just like Jesus bears his father's no, spirit. No, it doesn't say that Jesus simply bears his father's spirit. That's why he is Jehovah. But come before on, we get man, before on, we get there, let's go to your John example can. because I want people to hear what you just said. What do you mean he bears the spirit of Elijah? So that was Elijah's actual human spirit that became reincarnate in John? The same spirit that God the Father put in Elijah. What is that spirit? Put, the spirit of God that God put in Elijah, okay. he also put in John. That's exactly. So it's not the human spirit of Elijah, right? No. Okay. Absolutely not. So then, okay, so now the reason why John is called Elijah, because he's filled with the spirit like Elijah was, and he performs a similar ministry to what Elijah did. So that's how we account for the similarities. Now explain to me why Jesus called Thank Jehovah. You, well, let me finish the point because it's going to backfire against you if you're patient. In Hebrews 1, 10 to 12, Jesus is called Jehovah who created the heavens and the earth. So this is before creation. Why is he called Jehovah at that point? Because he was also exempl exemplifying his father then, Sam. How can that's he be why. exemplifying his father when there was no one for Jesus to exemplify the father too? Because this is creation. No one else exists. What are you talking about? There doesn't need to be. You yourself would describe him as the rays coming off that sun, right? No, I would talk about the rays in reference to him manifesting God visibly in creation, not manifesting God visibly before creation. Don't assume how I interpret Hebrews 1. I'm talking about the church fathers, how they, they refer to him as the rays and the father's the son. You mean the same church fathers that say that Jesus is Jehovah of hosts, not the father?